Praise the Lord this morning, saints. Yes, Hallelujah. praise the Lord. Yes, praise <laughs> the Lord for everything. Hallelujah. This is the King's Road broadcast on the 15th of August, 2018, 7 a.m. Central Time here in the United States of America. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. God is doing a work in this hour, and He wants us to talk about what He's doing. Amen? Because He's done a work, and He's doing a work. And he'll continue to do a work. And he's always going to be doing. Amen. Because he's our loving father. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, thank you today for your word. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness, for your holiness, for your righteousness, Lord, your truth. Thank you, Father, that you have us come here today to exalt Jesus, your holy son, in the power of the Holy Spirit through his precious blood. And remind your children, all of us, that the prince of this world is judged, hallelujah, already judged. Not something that has to happen, something that is already done, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, teach us right now today. Show us what we need to see. Lord, I ask that you will just so invigorate your people today that we would all be challenged in the spirit. And that you teach us more, Lord, how to surrender every single thought to you, Lord, and take every thought captive and walk in your way today by your spirit and have sweet communion with you, Lord. Hallelujah. Sweet communion with you at every moment of this very day, Lord. Hallelujah. And crush the serpent under our feet in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. The prince of this world is judged. Amen. Is judged. Is judged. That's what the word says, you know. And uh, when when I see the big picture of, of, you know, the last 20 years, you know, 23 years, 24 years since we've been together, since we've known each other, it's been 24 years. Well, how, how many years? 23. 24. 24. 23 since we've been married. Right. Almost. 20. Next month. <laughs> Next month will be 23. So we've known each other for 23 years. Okay. And you see this picture of, and I hear this message from prophecy experts and prophets and, you know, the church in general, and that the devil is going to be judged. Okay. But the fact is that he's already judged. Yeah, he is. He's already condemned. And he's already bound. Jesus bound the devil. He said, you, no one can go into a strong man's house and spoil his goods unless he first bind the strong man. Okay? Because they were telling Jesus, he's casting out devils by Beelzebub. That's what he said. That's what they said to Jesus. It's by the prince of the devils that he's casting out devils. Okay. Jesus said, no. Then by who do your children cast them out? Okay. Jesus said, no. You can't spoil anyone's house unless you first bind the strong man. Okay. If you break in, if someone breaks into someone's house, they first bind the strongest person in the house. Then they can spoil the whole house. Jesus came down here to this earth where man had given the dominion to the devil. Man had dominion in this earth. We had all dominion. Man had all dominion. God made man the ruler, made in God's image. But man gave that to the devil. Okay? And so the devil had it. See? And he manipulated people's minds to do all these things. And so when Jesus came down here, God in the flesh, hallelujah, he bound up the strong man. Where? In the desert. Hallelujah, in the wilderness. You see, in the wilderness. Think about that now. In the wilderness. He bound up the devil. He fasted for 40 days and the devil came and tempted him with those three temptations that we're all tempted with. See what I'm saying? And Jesus bound him up and went about spoiling his house. Everywhere he went. Everywhere he went, the demons came out of the woodwork in people, right? Huh? What do you want to do with us, the son of man, who son of God, Jesus of Nazareth? What do you, you know? And they were just screaming and cursing and swearing and foaming at the mouth. 
And what did Jesus do? Be gone, Satan. See? Just like that. He was judged. And he fulfilled that work on the cross. Gave his life. Think about that. It's the deepest truth there is that Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, died on the cross. Literally dead. Totally, completely dead. There was not a breath left in him. All of his precious life was poured out his blood. And then the third day rose again. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see what I'm saying? There's the victory. And he proved his victory over the mm -hmm. devil by rising from the dead and ascending into heaven and taking his seat at the right hand of the Father. Now, this is the message. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We have the victory. Okay? Because Jesus has won the victory for his church. But this, 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 you hear this sound out there in the world and you've heard it for years and years and years and years. And even back in the 70s, I heard as a young, you know, teenager, I heard preachers talking about 2,000 years ago when Jesus came. Well, it wasn't 2,000 years ago. Okay? It was 1970 something years ago. See what I'm saying? I mean, Jesus came on the scene in 30 AD. 30 AD. So it's not even 2,000 years ago right now. This is 2018. See? So why do they say that 2,000 years ago? It's just a figure of speech, right? Because it's almost two millennia ago. So they say 2,000 years ago. But that's not true. That's not a true saying. The truth is, we're not even to the 2,000 year mark yet. We're almost there. I believe it's 2023 when we get there. Or 2028. It'll be 2,000 years since Jesus came and died on the cross. We go into the third day. Okay, The third day will begin, you see. He told, what did he tell Herod? He said, he said, those, he told those guys, you go tell that fox, son of man, he's, he's going to work today and tomorrow on the third day, he'll be perfected, see, third day, see, well, Jesus, we are his body, amen, so on the third day, I'm telling you right now, I have great hope in my heart today, <laughs> because I know that God has done the work and is perfecting that work in his children, amen, you know, <clears throat> The Lord has always used and allowed uh, the devil to do certain things for his purposes. Just like with Job, that's an example for mm -hmm. us. Right. Okay, that's a, an example for us. Job, the devil <coughs> had to come to the Lord and ask permission to touch Job. Okay, what does that tell us? That if the Lord is going to use anything the enemy does, he has to get permission from God in order to do it. Now, would you call that a binding? He's not just let loose free to do whatever he wants to do. Right. See, people say that, but that's not true. If that was true, you'd see a lot more going on in this world than you do. No, there's only so far he can go. He's on a chain, and at any time, God will jerk that chain right back and say, No, you're not going to do that, devil. No, you're not going to do that. Hallelujah. So, the Lord has always used the devil to bring about his purposes in certain ways. That's right. That's right. Because... He'll put the pressure on. He'll allow him to attack, whatever. But it's all for his purposes that he does it. And he's used the armies of men to bring judgment That's as right. well. That's right, exactly. Wicked men. That's right. He's used over the ages That's to bring exactly judgment. That's right. Okay? Wicked men ruled by the devil. He has used to do that. He's always done that. So... We know that this is what we as the children of God really have to get deep down in our hearts that God is watching over. There's not one thing he misses. Okay? If a sparrow doesn't even fall to the ground without him seeing it. Right. He said, how much more you that I've created in my image. That's right. How much more am I going to watch you? Right. And care and watch about what you. goes on That's with right. you. That's right. See? That's right. 
you know, even right now today, all the situations in all of our lives, God knows about them. That's right. He knows all our needs. That's right. He knows all our struggles already. That's right. He knows what we're all going through. And he wants us to talk to him about it. He wants us to. He yes. wants us to come before him and have communion with him and just bear our heart to him. Tell him, you see. If we don't understand something, tell him. See. Hallelujah. I learned many things from my dear wife. And early on in our marriage, she would talk to the Lord about little bitty things, man. You would talk to him about these little, and you still do. And I would say, oh, God doesn't care about that, didn't I? I say mm -hmm. that to you, and that's a dumb thing to say to somebody. God doesn't care about that. God is a caring God. Our Father is a caring Father. And I've learned over the years that, boy, God really does care about those little things. Those little bitty, what man would say, insignificant. But why does God care? Because it's in your heart, and God loves you, you see. And so he knows your heart. And he sees, you know, Jesus said you have to become like little children. Amen. To enter into the kingdom of heaven, you have to be like these little children. So when you come to the Lord, he doesn't see a grown, full grown adult woman. He sees a little child. See what I mean? And you're asking him for this little thing that your husband says is insignificant. Right? And then God gives it to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. See, and God taught me this over the years. Hallelujah. Nothing is too insignificant for the Lord. Mm -hmm. You go to the Lord with everything because the prince of this world is judged and he has no power over any of us except what we yield to him in disobedience to God, disobedience to his word or whatever. And in our mind. Right, you know, in our if mind. we allow and don't do what he tells us to do as far as what the Lord tells right. us to do, pulling down Strong the imagination. Right. You know, the Lord will allow the enemy to attack us in our mind. He but allows it to he teach us. He allows it right. to teach us, right. hey, put into practice what I showed you right here. Right, that's right. Put into practice the pulling down, taking the thoughts captive. Right. You know, I want to teach you about this. I want to strengthen you in this. Where you don't just uh, fall under this anymore. Right. Exactly. That you don't fall under this mindset anymore. Because I guarantee you, if we give the enemy a chance to come in in our thought life. Right. And, you know, maybe something's going on and we're in need or whatever. And the enemy is attacking us about truth and attacking us about the faithfulness of God and attacking us about our stand with God and this and that and blah 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 right. if we give ear to that it will start pulling us down that's right it will and then we'll give ear to more of it more of what he says All right we were talking about you that know, last week when I was going through what I was know, going it through it was like it was right. like uh, we'll keep falling is what will <coughs> happen right into that miry mud, you know, because the enemy does not like it when God blesses his people. He doesn't like it when they prosper. He doesn't like any of that. He doesn't like it when people are receiving and hearing the truth. He doesn't like it. That's right. So he'll try to come against it. And so many times, you know, when we've been under severe warfare and stuff, uh, I'll say to the Lord, you know, because the Lord says you're the head and not the tail. Amen. And I will say that to him. I'll be walking and praying. I'll say, Lord, you said we are the head and not the tail. Amen. But it doesn't look like that right now. <laughs> With what's going on, yeah, it doesn't right. look like that we're the head and not the tail, Lord. And I talk to the Lord like that. Amen. And the Lord hears me. Amen. That's right. And he answers. That's right. Hallelujah. He is my friend. That's right. I can talk to him about anything. And he's not going to look at it or hear it uh, other than what it really is from the heart. That's right. Now, see, this is the attitude God wants us all to have, what you're describing right here. Because it's the attitude of a victorious child and one who reminds God of his word. See what I'm saying? 
God wants to be reminded of his word. That's why he wants us to read his word and, and believe his word and walk in his word. And so you're reminding the Lord, see, and oh, the tenacity in that. God says, I like that, see, because we're warriors. You see what I'm saying? He made us his battle axe. We have sharp threshing teeth, you know, uh, you know, we are his arrow. Hallelujah. He wants to shoot. You see what I'm saying? And God is awesome. And that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Sharon, I want you to read this right here, if you will. Matthew 12. 23. We're talking about that the prince of this world is judged, the devil, Satan, and all of his hordes. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Begin reading verse 22 there. Matthew 12, 22. Then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, blind and dumb, and he healed him, <laughs> insomuch that the blind and dumb both spake and saw. Hallelujah. And that can also be a spiritual deaf and dumb thing. Exactly. And you know the Lord identified that as a spirit by That's the way. Right. Exactly. Deaf and dumb exactly. as a spirit. Exactly. So okay. I'm gonna read that again. Oh, let me back it up. Okay. Then was brought unto him one possessed with the devil, blind and dumb, and he healed him, insomuch that the blind and dumb both spake and saw. And all the people were amazed and said, Is not this the son of David? Ooh. Is not this the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow doth not cast out devils, but by Beelzebub, right. the, the prince, prince of the devils. devils. Now what did Jesus say was a blasphemy of the Holy Spirit? You'll find out. Keep reading. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's what it is. I know. Calling... The Lord, the Lord's work, the Lord's person, what he's doing through him, of, of the, the devil. devil. That's right. We've had people do that with us. That's right. But they don't realize what they did. Right. And then they're totally blind, thinking that's an okay thing to do. Right. When right here the Lord said, this is blasphemy of the Holy that's Spirit. That's right, right. But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, this fellow doth not cast out devils. But by Beelzebub, by the devil. Right. They're telling that to Jesus, the prince of the devils. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Hallelujah. Every kingdom, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And we see that right now in yeah. this world. The world is so divided. Yeah. Okay. Hallelujah. Cities are divided. I mean, you see it all over, okay? Every the devil's kingdom, house right. is divided. That's right. Okay? Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Right. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Verse 26. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Right. See, the devil's kingdom is not standing. That's right. It is coming divided, down. And it is coming, coming down. down. It's coming down. Hallelujah. His kingdom Woo! is coming, coming down. down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if I by Beelzebub cast out devils, by whom do your children cast them out? Therefore, they shall be your judges. <laughs> but if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God come unto you. Is come unto you. Is come you. unto you. It, it, he's telling them, I'm, I'm here. Right. <laughs> Standing here in front of you. Right. The kingdom of God. That's right. And he's here in us. That's right. Hallelujah. Here okay. before you, the kingdom of God. Right. Okay? He's in us. Right. He's here. Right. Right now. Right. The kingdom of God is Hallelujah. here right now. That's right. The kingdom of God is within his people. Yes. That's what he says. Hallelujah. And we need to walk in it and believe it. Because it's the truth. Hallelujah. His authority is in us. His wisdom is in us. Right. 
His knowledge is in us. Right. What we need to know. Glory to God. The kingdom of God is within his true people. That's right. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. But if I cast out devils by the spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. Now, verse 29. Or else how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods? except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. So therefore, that verse right there tells me that Jesus has bound the strong man, because for these many centuries, he has been spoiling his house. Hallelujah. He also See? tells hallelujah. us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He also tells us, whatever you bind on earth will be bound, bound in, in heaven. heaven. Hallelujah. And in the name of Jesus... I bind you, Satan. You, I Jesus. bind oh, all Lord, your Lord, plans, Lord. all your schemes, all your behind-the-back chattering and scandal. Thank you. I bind you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Anything you're trying Hallelujah. to do to Hallelujah. hinder, Hallelujah. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are bound Hallelujah. on earth and in Thank heaven you, from doing Hallelujah. that in Hallelujah. Jesus' Hallelujah. name, in your people's you, life. In this ministry, in our life, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. The devil is defeated. Or else, how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man? Let's look that up. Bind to bind in various applications, literally, figuratively. Bind, be in bonds, knit, tie, wind. Okay, he has the devil under control. Jesus does. Okay, and then strong man is uh, forcible. Okay, boisterous, mighty, powerful, strong. Okay, stronger. He, 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 he's bound up the devil. See, when man gave power to the devil, the devil had the power, and the devil operates on the soul of man. The soul of man. Because see, fallen man, his spirit is not alive. His spirit is dead. He has no connection with God. So the devil comes in with religion, okay, and gives man, oh, a very emotional experience, you know, when he does the stations of the cross, or when he goes in, into the Hindu temple, or when he goes into the Buddhist temple. You see what I'm saying? He gives them this euphoria, you know, and they sit in the lotus position and to go on oh, you know they have this euphoria deal that's all in the soul realm it's not in the spirit their spirit's dead okay and if they don't repent and believe the gospel they're going to death they're going to go join all the rest of the crowd that's the down pit. in the pit that's right okay Hallelujah. You know, the bible does say in the end time uh the last end time that the devil will be let loose for a certain That's right. time. That's right. But even then, he is bound. That's right. Within the guidelines of God Almighty. That's right. Hallelujah. He still, even in that time, cannot do whatever he wants to do. That's right. He has to do what he's told. He has to do <laughs> within the guidelines of what God allows him to do. That's right. Exactly. I was going to say aloud. That's right. That's yeah. right. Amen. Sister. So, you know, uh, we need to understand the authority we have in Christ. That's right. Hallelujah. I want you yeah, to read. Just as, just as the Lord shut the mouths of the lions with Daniel. Right. In the name of Jesus, he is shutting the mouths of the lions right now now hallelujah thank you he's Lord. shutting their mouths Ooh. and he's breaking out their teeth hallelujah in jesus thank name. you lord hallelujah 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 verse 30 he that is not with me is against me and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad wow. hallelujah. Ooh, buddy. now isn't that the same thing we are in Christ. He is in us. We can say the same thing. Mm -hmm. As we're walking in the truth. Right. He is. He that is not with us. Is against us. Just like Jesus. Right. Okay. 
Amen. Amen. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. Hallelujah. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him. Neither in this world, neither in the world to come. See, right there. Whosoever speaketh the word against the Son of Man. People speak words against us. Okay, that can be forgiven. But when they say you're operating by the devil, right. when you're not operating by the devil, right. okay, you're operating by the truth. Holy Ghost. Right. And the sword's coming in. The sword of truth yeah. comes in, divides between the joint, the marrow, and the soul, and the spirit of that person, okay, and reveals the thoughts, the wicked thoughts, the intents, the wicked intents, the motives, the wicked motives of their heart. And then they say you're of the devil. See, you're not of the devil. You see what I mean? Now, we're only God can say, Okay, we have recognized people who have blasphemed the Holy Ghost. We have recognized that. We've seen that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yet I'm not their final judge. Christ is their final judge. You see what I'm saying? And so I personally, like I was saying yesterday when or the day before, when people come to us, we meet new Christians and they say things that seem kind of way out there. You know what I mean? I like to check it out. See what I'm saying? I like to go to the Word and see if those things be so. What they were saying. Be a Berean. You see what I'm saying? Because it's important to do that. And because what if what they're saying, even though I don't understand it with my intellectual mind, you know, and, I, and it kind of go, I kind of go, ah. Now, sometimes I just know right away, you know, that's not true at all, you see. But... Sometimes you have to be very careful because I certainly, and I know Sharon feels the same way, we would never want to judge anybody as being false when they're not false. You see what I'm saying? Boy, that's a, I don't want to fall into that thing. Uh -uh. I want to be right on the money with the Lord. And it comes by the Holy Spirit. He's given us an unction and we know all things. We know we get a witness in our spirit. That's the truth. That's not the truth, you see. And we have that witness because it's the witness of Christ in us. Hallelujah. He shows us. Whosoever speaketh the word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost. And that's what blasphemy is of the Holy Spirit. It's speaking against the Holy Spirit. Okay. It's saying it is the devil. You see. They said what <coughs> Jesus was doing. The power by which Jesus was doing what he was doing was of the devil. That's what they said. That's blasphemy That's right. of the Holy Spirit, Amen. which cannot be forgiven. That's what the Lord said right here. You know, and it's proven out people that have done that with us. That said we're operating by the spirit of the devil. And then we see what happens in their falsity. They have no remorse. They have no conviction. Uh, they're not convicted of any sin in it or anything. They just go on and they keep doing it and they keep going on and going on and they're blind and they're deaf and their heart is hardened. Why? Because they have committed the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. That's what the Lord said. People fly around with these words just like they're just, they mean nothing. But that's not what God said in here. That's it's a right. serious thing that's to right. the Lord to do that. A serious thing. It's a serious thing to come against a true work of the Lord or his true people. It's serious. It can be unto death. It can be unto perdition. Amen. 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 Let's talk about the fact that so many of God's people today, the, the Lord is doing a work in their hearts and minds. They don't even know what he's doing. But it's for a specific hour. It's for a specific day. Amen. 
when they will give testimony before men that Jesus is the Christ. Jesus is the way. There is no other way. You see what I'm saying? And it could cost our life. I mean, this physical life that we have here on this earth. But that's okay. We have the victory, you see. Now, let's go to John 12. And Jesus here is speaking. They sent some, the Greeks came, and they wanted to talk to Jesus. Okay. And Philip cometh and telleth Andrew, and Andrew and Philip tell Jesus. John 12. 22 now verse 23 let me get up here I'm gonna pull this over because we're talking today about the fact that the prince of this world is judged but there's so much here I want you to see that God wants us to see this right here the fact that Jesus is just listen to the gospel right here hallelujah verse 22 Philip cometh and telleth Andrew, and again Andrew and Philip tell Jesus. And Jesus answered them, saying, Now the, the, the Greeks wanted to talk to Jesus, some of the Greek Jews. Okay, go ahead. And Jesus answered them, saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Hallelujah. Verily, verily. See, the Lord now, it's knows coming. the it's, time. The, the time is coming when the church is going to be glorified. Okay? We are the body of Christ. We walk in the steps of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the time is coming when the church is going to be glorified. Hallelujah. And Jesus answered them, saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. He is the forerunner. He is the great forerunner. Hallelujah. Okay, verse 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. So what's he talking about there? His life, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's talking about his life. And he's talking about our life. You see, we, some many times, things have to die in order to bring forth fruit. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. Hallelujah. You know, this is what he's telling us. This is Jesus' word, y'all. Well, the whole word is his words, but these are in red here. Jesus speaking. And he's showing us that that's how life is brought. is through the death of our self. That's right. Just like that's right. we are to follow him, right? That's, that's right. What did he do? What did he show forth on this earth the whole time he walked it? The glory of his Father, man. Hallelujah. And the dying of the self-life. He didn't do what he wanted to do. Right. He did what, he, what did he say? The My Father. will is to do the Father's will. Hallelujah. That's right. That was his will, to do the Father's will. That's right. And he that taketh not up his cross daily and follow me is not worthy to be my disciple. And so what is he telling us Hallelujah. here? There's not going to be any life brought out unless you die. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Isn't that what he's saying? That's right. Isn't that what he's saying to us? Amen. There's not going to be any life there unless you die. Hallelujah. Unless That's you die to yourself. That's right. Hallelujah. To what you want until it's just like Jesus. Yeah. Not my will, but your will. Your will, Father. I Hallelujah. come to do the will of the Father. That's my meat. Hallelujah. Isn't Hallelujah. that what he said? That's right. Amen. Isn't he our example? Yes, he said, as the Father sent me, so send I you. Hallelujah. That's right. That is it. Hallelujah. You're getting it right on the head. Hit it again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 25. He that loveth his life shall lose it. Now, see, just what you were saying. Okay. About dying to self. He that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto, unto life, life eternal. eternal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's the word. That's the gospel right there. See, that's what Jesus did. See, Jesus walked it. He denied himself. See, he gave up his life. Hallelujah. And he got it. For all eternity. Hallelujah. Verse if, 26. Jesus still speaking here. If any man serve me, 
let him follow me, and where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Oh, now that's that's really a good verse there. If any Amen. man serve me, let him follow me. Hallelujah. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. Where I am. That's right. Where I am, he said. There shall also my servant be. Hallelujah. You know, I remember when the Lord said in the word, the disciples were asking him. And he said, one will be taken and the other left. Where, Lord? Where, Lord? One will be taken in death, in judgment, and one will be left. You know, there is such a serious thing. People believe in a rapture before the great time of sorrows. Of sorrows. Yeah. And that is a lie and a scheme and a trap of the enemy. That's right. Because what it does is it lets people sit on their lees in ease, believing they can live any way they want. Right. Do anything they want. Hey, I'm a Christian. I believe. Sorry, that's just not true. Right. It's just not true. Amen. The Lord requires things of us as we walk along this walk. Amen. And one major thing is not only that we repent of our sins to begin with, but that we walk in His way. Hallelujah. That we keep his commandments. That we obey his word. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. You can't live any way you want to live and expect to be in. <coughs> That's not what the Bible says. That's right. That's not what it says. Amen. If any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be be now is that a wonderful thing that's beautiful to be thinking that's about right. right there if Where? any man serve me him will my father honor right that's right now is my soul trouble jesus was really grieved and what shall i say father save me from this hour but for this hour for this cause came i unto this hour See, he knew why he came. Father, glorify thy name. Okay? Father, glorify thy name. We can pray this too. Father, glorify thy name in our lives. Lord, Father, glorify your name in the life of your church today. Your people scattered throughout the nations, oh God. Glorify your name in your people's lives. Then came there a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again the people therefore that stood by and heard it said that it thundered others said an angel spake to him jesus answered and said this voice came not because of me but for your sakes for your sakes see this word we're reading today came not because of Jesus but for our sakes this is the recorded history of the fact that Jesus Christ came and he is who he said he is hallelujah amen amen how many times have we seen the atheist professors who go out and do a search trying to disprove the Bible and they come back born anew yeah. filled with the Spirit of God yeah right because they find out it's life right. you see right. yeah, but they were determined to stomp it out just like the devil's determined right now today and all these wicked people in the world, they're determined to stomp out the truth of God's word. Stomp out the principle of dying to self. See? See? That's the principle that Jesus lived by. Die to myself. Do the Father's will. We've been talking about it all day. See? This is the fact. Okay? And then Jesus said, This voice came not because of me, but for your sakes. Oh, hallelujah. Verse 31, Sharon. Read that. 
Now is the judgment of this world. What did the Lord say? Back when he said this? Now. Now. Oh, let me look that word up now. <laughs> okay. Look this word up in the Greek if you have uh, Strong's in the Immediate. Yeah. yeah. Immediate. Immediate. Yeah. Present time. Now. Now. Okay. What did he say? When was this said? Back how many hundreds of years ago? A thousand, yeah. You know? A thousand. Jesus whatever. said it. Hallelujah. Now right. is the judgment of this world. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now yeah. is it. Glory to God. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. What did he say back when he said it? Right. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. And if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. Speaking right. of his crucifixion, being lifted up from the earth. And I, I will if, draw all men. If I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. So see, now we see, now is the judgment of this world. Now, that was 1985 years ago. If we're not missing a year somewhere in it. And Jesus okay. said it. So is now, it, it's, it is. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Now. Right now. Okay. Now. See. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Okay. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me and this is what's happening in the world today jesus is drawing people to himself by the holy spirit okay the holy spirit's been poured out upon all flesh but a vast majority of people are rejecting 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 the wooing of the holy spirit and so many people are just being blacked out you see what i'm saying because they blaspheme the holy spirit and the lord knows who those are you see i'm talking about the whole population of the planet there are so many people. The Lord is going to have a number. He has a number that cannot be numbered. Okay? In the kingdom. His kingdom. There's so many people that are going to be there from all the ages. Hallelujah. You see? That we can't even fathom. It's a number that cannot be numbered. You cannot calculate it. That's what he says in his word. Right there. In the book of Revelation chapter 5. Okay? And so I'm excited about that because there's a lot of people that we don't even know are there. And there's a lot of people that we think could never be there. But we will find them there. You see what I'm saying? Because God is a jealous God. God is a particular God. And he says, I want that one. He's going to get that one. You see what I'm saying? It don't matter if the mama or the daddy or the brother or sister or whoever says, They'll never be a Christian. That will be, you know, whatever. They'll, they'll never make it in. If God says they're going to make it in, God's going to bring them in. See, ain't he? He's going to yes. work the circumstances in their life to get them right down on their face before him and bring them in. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to his holy name. Oh, God. God is good. So we see the prince of this world is judged. And once again, going back to what we were saying earlier, a lot of talk, you know, ah, the devil, he's rising, the devil's doing this, the devil's doing that. You see what I'm saying? This, this is not the message of the church. The message of the church is Jesus is doing this. Jesus is exalted. Jesus is glorified. Jesus, Jesus is allowing Jesus is it. allowing Whatever. what's going on on this earth because men have rejected him. See, mm -hmm. it, when you, re when a person rejects the Lord, it's like, it's like shutting the door to life and opening another door of death. See? And the nations have rejected the Lord. Okay? They have. They rejected the Lord. And so the other door is opened up for death to come in. They've rejected the life. Now, we are in the midst of the nations, okay, as the body of Christ, right? So it's going to get tumultuous. It's going to get tumultuous, all right? But guess what? We're the winners. Okay? We're the winners. The prince of this world 
is judged. The prince of this world is cast out. Hallelujah. See, Jesus said that. Now is the judgment of this world, this cosmos, this world order. Okay? Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Now. Okay? It's the same world order in the first century as there is today. Same world order. No different. Except we have electricity today, and we have batteries, and we have moving fast chariots, you know, that travel real fast, jostle in the street one against another. Uh, they're like torches. If you drive on the highway at night, they look like little flames coming down the highway from a far distance, you know. This is all in the Bible. Book of Nahum. And the day and, of preparation. And the day of preparation. And, and we're in that day. And the Lord is coming, okay? Do you know the Lord today? Are you walking with Jesus today? Are you loving Him and praising Him? Have you been born anew by the Spirit of God? Are you hearing this? And <clears throat> maybe you're, you've you been assigned to listen to this broadcast by the enemy's company. Hmm? And you come and listen. Are you hearing the voice of the Lord Jesus calling you into His kingdom? Or do you want to stay in the kingdom of the devil? See? Because the devil's kingdom is finished. It's going bye-bye. It's Damn. about to expire, okay? Mm -hmm. <coughs> and the kingdom of heaven is growing, getting larger and larger and larger. And scientists have even proven it, that the, the universe is expanding. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger because the word says he stretches out the heavens like a curtain, and it's being stretched out. Hubble found that back in 1920-something. He discovered it. The heavens are stretching out. But guess what? The heavens we see now and the earth we see now are going to be gone. Because he's bringing in a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. That's where we're going to be. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. By his grace. Okay. Now, let us remember that Jesus said this. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the age. Hallelujah. We're coming up to the end of the age. And the Lord is going to show his hand mightily in the life of his church. Amen. To go through what we're all being prepared for to go through. Now, we've been being prepared a long time, Sharon and I. You've been being prepared, been being prepared for a long time, however long that time is. God makes sure we will be prepared for what He allows to come, see, into our lives. If we keep our focus upon Him, what does He do? He keeps us in perfect peace. Mm -hmm. Amen? Hallelujah. And Cord Tim Boone comes to mind, and what a wonderful story that is. I mean, she was in the prison, her and her sister, in Ravensbrück, in Germany, and Man, they were fixing to kill all them women in that prison. The war was ending, ending, and, and uh, her sister died in there, and they were fixing to kill all the women. Well, the paperwork came in for Corey to get out, see? She knew why, because God sent the paperwork in there. And she got out of that prison the day before they killed all them women. In that prison, Corey was out. God got her out. And what did she do? She went and testified of the faithfulness of God. She went and testified of the need of a Savior. People need a Savior. And she testified to the church over and over and over and over again about the tribulation time, about the, the great anguish that's coming to the church. All these things are going to happen to the church. And what did the church do? They rejected, for the most part, what she said. You see? Because why? Times were prosperous. Times were good. You see? They rejected, but God sent a witness. He sent Corey Tim Boom. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he sent more witnesses and more witnesses, and he sent us as witnesses. Okay? The word's going out. Receive the word, be blessed. Reject the word to your own peril. That's what I say. And that's the truth, isn't it? Yes, it is. Amen. It goes for me, it goes for you, it goes for everyone. And we receive the truth. Amen. Hallelujah from God. And we've been blessed. Amen. Mm -hmm. We get more truth, more revelation, more knowledge. Hallelujah. You want to pray? Pray, honey. Pray. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for this message. Thank you, Lord. Cool, my God. I Shut thank you for your 
wonderful mercy, <coughs> Lord. I thank you, Lord, that the seed of this message is being planted, and it's being planted deeply in the hearts of those that are listening to it. Yes, thank you, Lord. They will not forget it. It will not return void either. Hallelujah. It, it will, will do accomplish. what Hallelujah. you sent Hallelujah. it forth to do, thank and you, it will accomplish it this very day. Hallelujah. Thank you, I thank Jesus. you, Lord, for your defeat Hallelujah. of the enemy. Hallelujah. I thank you that your foot is down upon his neck, Hallelujah. and he cannot do thank anything you, that you, you have not said he can do, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for breaking off all kinds of evil that's trying to hinder your word from going forth. I thank you, Lord, all those involved, that you are taking care of it. You are moving the enemy out of the way. You are moving the hinderers out of the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I do pray you save the hinderers, Lord, that even this day you will create the circumstances in their lives to bring them to their knees. Thank you before you in repentance lord hallelujah and i thank you that it is so and it will be done hallelujah in jesus name amen, amen. thank you lord glory to the king hallelujah monday through friday at 7 a.m central we come to you here on spreaker the king of the road broadcast and we thank god to be able to come and to continue to bring forth the word of his truth the truth of his word amen to bless his people our email address is thekingsroad2000 at gmail.com. Thekingsroad2000 at gmail.com. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you and keep you and make his holy face to shine upon you. The Lord our God lift up his holy countenance upon you and grant you peace. The Lord be gracious unto you. His name, his authority, his character be in and upon you today and fill you to overflowing with his presence. As you go forth conquering and to conquer in his holy name. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to the King. Hallelujah, saints. Hallelujah.